Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you the most amazing recipe with butternut squash. This dish is a really colorful dish and color is important to me, but so is flavor. And I find that when you really hit nature for all the best that it's got lots of color and diversity, it delivers so much flavor on the plate. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful roasted butternut squash with rasal hanout with tahini yogurt, herb oil, pomegranate seeds, and pine nuts. It's absolutely spectacular and it's so simple to make. Perfect meal for any occasion. Also meat free and easily veganized, no problem. Perfect food for everyone. So, got Good butternut squash here, nice, good size. First things first, going to cut off the top. What I love about this dish is it's essentially built around a very humble vegetable that we use all the time, but then layering the flavors onto this dish really makes it something that you can present to friends, family, or at a dinner party. Down through the middle, the bottom bulbous half is the half that has the seeds, and that's what we want to get rid of. Now, you want two centimeter roughly thick pieces, so discs. Then have this ingredient, Russell Hanout. It is the most incredible heady aromatic blend of spices and it means head of the house. So if you see here, oh, come in. <laughs> Beautiful blend and you can even pick up gorgeous rose petals. It's truly, truly special. And I'm literally just gonna scatter it on here in very slapdash fashion, and then drizzle some oil onto it to help the spices stick to the butternut squash. Nothing more than that you can always add, but you can't take away. Sea salt. And you just want to carefully just coat everything as best as you can, rub it all over. So if you've got rasal hanout left over after this particular recipe, fret not, you can use it on anything. It's fantastic with roasted meats, poultry, game. It is the absolute dream. This also works beautifully with other sweet vegetables, especially sweet potato. I would also say roasted swede and parsnip are also fantastic with rasal hanout. So that's done and I'm gonna pop it into the oven, which is on 220 fan, and it's gonna be nice and browned on the outside. That's going to give you so much flavor. Have here tahini. Just going to get a couple of spoonfuls in here. And don't forget, if you want to have the recipe, it's just down below. So I've got my tahini in the bowl. I'm going to get some hot water from a recently boiled kettle, about a couple of spoonfuls, but more importantly, enough so you can actually thin down the tahini. Then I'm gonna go in with the yogurt. You want to mix it down to a nice consistency, but you don't want any lumps. So really take your time to smooth it out. Good seasoning, we're gonna season everything as we go. And also a good meal of pepper. Adding lots of flavor. And then the other flavor we're going to bring into this is garlic, good garlic. Why is it what, that you one time you need it? Don't. So we've got some garlic. I'm just gonna take out one clove. Take the blade of a knife carefully away from you. Give it a gentle crush, you hear a crack. And then you can cut the root end off. And then, then you get cleanly peeled, nice and easy, no faff. And I'm just gonna grate the garlic into here. And you do want to fine grate it because you want it crushed ideally. Even if you love garlic, don't be tempted to do more than one clove. I'm gonna take a lemon. Want the zest of a whole lemon and the juice of half. Whilst it's whole, give it a little roll on the board that helps break up its fibers on the inside and releases its juices when you come to cutting it and using it. I'm gonna give everything a stir. There we go. Next, I'm gonna move on to making the lovely herb oil that we're gonna go and add on top of the tahini oil. I've got flat leaf parsley and I've also got coriander. I'm gonna pop my herbs in there. Don't discard the stalks because all the flavor, especially in parsley and coriander, is in the stalks, don't you know? So I'm gonna go in with the same lemon. Good old squeeze of lemon into there. I'm gonna season everything as we go along. Good glug of olive oil. It's an oil, so you need oil. Don't be shy. I'm gonna put the lid on. Make sure it's 
nice and tight. Give it a little shake. I feel like I'm making a cocktail. Give it a little blitz. I like to take it off halfway just to give everything a shake, make sure it's even, and then continue with the final blitz. Right. Okay, just carefully take the lid off. Beautiful, simple herb oil is gonna pack so much flavor into this dish. It's going to complement every single element, and that is how you transform humble butternut squash into something completely different. Okay, so the squash is looking absolutely gorgeous. That's what you want, nice burnished edges. It's not burnt, it's the color of the spice against the sugars in the butternut squash that gives it the lovely caramelized edges, so that's perfect. Gonna get the squash out really haphazard, don't worry about it. It's gonna look so pretty, there is literally nothing you could do to mess this up. First ingredient, going on with that gorgeous tahini sauce. You just want to be generous and dollop it everywhere. It's ugly beautiful. There we go. Next, that stunning herb oil. Just give it a mix so it doesn't settle at the bottom. And then on you go, artist canvas type style. And more importantly, packed full of flavor. There we go. Now, I've got some pine nuts here. Don't need to toast them. If you really want to toast them, you can. I want lots in there. Give it lots of nice texture and crunch. These are the things that will satisfy you, even if you're a meat eater and you're skipping meat for a night. Pomegranate seeds. What I love about sharing food is it really is an imprint of my culture. We always just plate up whatever we've got and everybody kind of gets stuck in. This is one of my favorite ingredients. I love this stuff. It's called pul beber. Pul beber is a southern Turkish chili flake. It's a lot milder than chili flakes that we're used to. And it just gives it a little kiss of refreshed heat on the top and a lovely color. There we go. And my final trick, crispy fried onions. Ready done. Loads of texture, crunch, sweetness of flavor. So good. There we have it. Roasted Ras El Hanouk butternut squash with tahini yogurt, herb oil, pine nuts and pomegranate seeds. Absolutely delicious.